What is this? What is this? What is this, guys? Again. That's why I love coming here. Not talking smack, but... Sorry, I was drinking a smoothie. Knowing God. Again, y'all, it's free of charge. Sorry, getting my breakfast today. But like, seriously. God made all of this with what? No money. Created money. <coughs> Can you make this with money? So, why would you have to pay to go to church? No one got his free. I have talked with God all the time. I don't give him not one dime. I just allow. I hate him because y'all afraid of God is him. Christian folks. Like, what are you pledging for? Like, like if the church is really about your spirituality and all that, I wouldn't want to check, man. Yeah, oh, they got a building fund. Oh, we got this to pay. Doesn't the Bible say the church is not built with bricks and mortar? It does say that. <laughs> it's in there, but y'all don't listen to that. I'm telling you that the church is not a fucking building. The church is you. Your body is the temple. Why do y'all be like, oh, the body is the temple, but you don't drink? I can't, how else can I explain this? Your body is the temple, right? For you, those Christian folks that like, I don't drink because whatever. You can, you're allowed to drink, right? You smoke, y'all, some of y'all Christian folks smoke cigarettes, but your body's the temple, right? Right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. Not the that you You know? Like, if God will never leave you and forsake you, why do you have to pay? Why do you have to pay? That's what I don't get. Why do you have to pay? This shit is free, fam. Free 99. Knowing the most don't cost the most. Like, really, when the shit hits the fan and the darkness comes to the light... You realize y'all were bamboozled in the muck, let us stray. What are you gonna do that? What are you gonna do? I'm not saying money is important, but that's how this world kind of works on money. But, like, seriously, guys. <laughs> Breakfast. But, seriously, guys. Like, How much, again, I always like to say, how much money have you put into the church? How much money have y'all been putting into the church over the years? I'm not, I'm not going to talk about Bethel. I don't care because that's where I was raised. All that bread y'all been putting in the church and it still looks like that? Don't you got a building fund? What's that, just to paint something? Cracks? Y'all been having the same pew since I was like four. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, Pastor probably got a nice car. I don't know who she is. Don't care. <coughs> no, I see. I would. I would like to meet Pastor. Cause she don't have nothing for me though, and ain't shut that down. <laughs> but like for real, guys. Like when you. Like I'm sure some of these keep record of what you paid to the church look how much money y'all gave in like the past 10 years churches make like billions of dollars a month I think I don't know if it's a year because imagine how many churches are out there again these are all there's these are you claim to be Christian but you know there's over 50 plus thousand denominations of Christianity so all y'all niggas is right For real. Right. Bro, y'all. Come on, man. I'm not saying y'all wrong. I'm just saying, let's look at this. You know? Y'all plot the land y'all was talking about in the back. Where did I go for that? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
I don't ask y'all to pay me. This is for my services, like car readings and photography. Give me advice, that's free. Spiritual advice, that's free. I'm not, I'm not passing around an offering plate to y'all. I'm really not. I'm telling you how it is, in my perspective. Show about what you know too, man. I'm saying the more you know, the more you grow. Some of y'all just accept this <coughs> as the norm because it's been in the norm. No, mm, talking to my phone. I'm just saying. Like, I can tell you. My brother goes like this, I guess. But only then some of y'all listen though. Or you take time to hear what I gotta say, which is cool, but come on man. Why Pesha got a better car than you? Why Pesha got a better house than you? Oh, because you know, you're a messenger of God. I'm a messenger I'm a messenger of God as well. But I'm not taking y'all money to upbuild to uplift myself. I could uplift y'all with no bread, which is what I'm doing. You know. The book says, you know, be the light. Just give me the light. I'm trying to give y'all the light, which is the truth. But y'all don't hang me down. Because God, you know, I always say this. God forbid. <laughs> y'all niggas was wrong. And I'm not saying you're wrong. But God forbid there's something out there that debunks all this shit that y'all believe. So what are you going to do? You know? You've been living your life this whole time for maybe 60, 40, 50 years, 70, 80, 90. Believing in this dude. Believing in this religion. Believing in someone else's account of how shit went down. This is why spirituality and science go together. Kind of can't have one without the other. If you understand science, when you understand spirituality, you bring them together, mind blown, makes sense. I'm just telling you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love gospel music. Okay, Priscilla, she's getting that. That's my jam, too. I'm about to sing for y'all, but I'm eating now. Hold on. I am glory. Cause this is true stuff to me. I just don't correlate it to you know the white blue eyed Jesus, but but for the most high, yes, get most high praise all the time. Yes, for your goodness and your mercy, hallelujah. Woo! Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, just gotta change your perception. My jam, y'all can't hear it. I don't know if you can, but Marvin said, Wow, <laughs> he's upset, shit, man. Because it's like, I don't know if you can hear the words or, or my mom, but right now, it's, he's so faithful. God is faithful, man. Never, ever, ever, not one time did God ever leave you, my niggas. Never. Like, not never. Not never. There were many times I feel like I should have been not here. But by the grace of God, I'm here. Day one. Darkness trying to get me out day one. I was born. I was born. Two minutes, like, not even two minutes later, I died and I came back. Just that little bit alone makes me grateful for my entire life. All the drama. Because it's like, oh, no. <laughs> Keep the party going. Because <laughs> if that wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have been here for y'all. To talk to y'all about this. About my life. How I came to be who I am today. You know? 
And I'm going to church and do that. I wasn't even a Christian when I was a baby. I was just me. I was already spiritual. I am a spiritual being having a human experience. You know? My jam too. From heaven above. I can't sing, but this is my shit. Um. Excuse me. God is an awesome God. I'm glad I'm here doing this. <clears throat> Listen, our, our God is an awesome God. He reigns. He reigns from heaven and earth. Because I'm not just going to say heaven above. With wisdom, power, and love. The most high is an awesome God. If he wasn't awesome, he wouldn't be here, fam. I'm just saying. Jesus didn't do that. Jesus didn't make you. God did. Think about it. Let's think in y'all. Let's think in. I know this is part of the good process, too. Think about all the bad situations you've ever been in and you got out. God did that. The most high. Jesus didn't do that. Because Jesus let them tell you he was a man. But you're a man or a woman. But God got you out of those spots. Whether you realize it or not, God always speaks to you. All of the time. Y'all niggas don't listen. But anyways... I'm gonna jump through this shit because it's one of my favorite topics because it's one of the I don't say it's one it's one of the massive forms of mind control there is man you don't think religion doesn't allow you to think for yourself you allow somebody else to think for you you know spirituality is first hand experience religion is second hand experience now there have been times I've been in church dancing for the Lord <laughs> and I felt this the what they call the Holy Ghost which is just you being in the moment like literally being in the moment and realizing there's really no one else there but you in the most or even sometimes when y'all in church y'all start to cry I mean it's the spirit but it's your self-realization self-actualization like it's like you hear a certain gospel song like we fall down we get back up nigga do you know how many times i fell down and got the fuck back up i got a couple scrapes and scars but i am still here i am still here you know but I don't want to give that praise to Jesus and not God. That's why you're in the situation you are. You should have no other gods before me. Don't put Jesus before the most. Just saying. So we're uh... um. I'm leaving, but probably not at this exact moment that you're leaving. But I will lock the door. How are you going to do that? Go lock the back door. Not that. Or I can take the front door key and then put it in the mailbox. You can't put it in the mailbox. It was like a locking. Oh, so how do you get mail? Huh? Oh, it's only wide enough for mail to go in there? Yeah. Where's that? Oh, um, yeah, I gotta finish this movie, but I'll be. Oh, I have to go out the garage door. I just jump over the thing. So I won't do the thing. <laughs> Anywho. But yeah, man.
Should we give you a power away? There shall be no other. Isn't that one? Is that the Ten Commandments? There shall be no other guy before me. I'm just saying. But that's all for now. I just wanted to tell, you know, have breakfast with Joe. Um, because it's the real pledge. No disrespect to none of y'all, but where does the money go? Because then you just have to send all of this money to Mother Bethel. And then where does Mother Bethel send their money to? Probably the Vatican. What does the Vatican do? Creates books that limit the teaching. Funds wars. Feeds corporations. What the fuck do I know? But have a good one.